for the best water deals in town, your local needs. Fill up your 18.9 liter for the low price of only $2 or your 4 liter for only 50 cents. Pure Aqua Valley Water. John Moore with the Robert Stanfield Airport here in Halifax, joined by Brian McGinnis, president of the Cape Breton West Islanders here as the team prepares to, to head out west for the 2017 TELUS Cup. But Brian, maybe we can begin by talking about the, the uh, organization to get this team uh, here and now heading off uh, when the tournament will start Monday. Uh, it's been extremely busy. Uh, unbelievable all the paperwork and uh, everything that had to be done to get the team out there. But it's uh, hopefully all behind us now and uh, we just want to get there and get on the ice and start the hockey. Talk to Coach McDonald about how do you prepare? How do you prepare for five other teams from across the country having never seen them? Well, uh, you know, Coach Kyle is always very well prepared and, and you know, I'm sure he'll be the same when we get there. Uh, he's been watching tapes of the players and, and of course we play Quebec right off the bat. They've seen the, they've seen the tapes of that team and uh, the other teams, they have tapes, but we'll also see them before we play them out there. So uh, they'll be where, well prepared as always. This team, of course, uh, had a little bit, almost two weeks after the Atlantics, capturing the Atlantics, to get some well-deserved and needed rest. Uh, this is a healthy team now, and I have to wonder about the objectives for this, this TELUS Cup. Uh, you know, the, the boys are going to do what they've done all year, and that's go out on the ice and give it everything they have. Uh, whatever happens, uh, it, it's a complete uh, bonus for us to win the Atlantics. It was extremely exciting. Uh, I think realistically, if we can go out there, win a few games, and make some noise, maybe make the semifinals, uh, we'll be extremely happy with that. But of course, the ultimate goal for the players and coaches is to win the gold medal for sure. You believe a, a medal is within your grasp? Uh, having never been there, uh, I can't say that. But uh, I know we're facing extremely tough competitions. We know the other teams are going to uh, have a lot of 17-year-olds. But uh, as long as the boys do their best, which I'm sure they will, uh, we'll be extremely happy. What do you need to have occur out in uh, Prince George for this team to, to have success, whatever that might be? What, what, what are the keys? Obviously, uh, play the way we've, we've been playing, you know, strong goaltending, solid in our own end, timely goals, uh, disciplined, poised, that, that, that would be the keys. Tell me about uh, financially, this is quite an undertaking. Uh, now that you're heading out west or right across the, the country and then a, a charter flight up, up to, uh, to Prince George. Tell me a little bit about the finances and, and how the team manages it. Well, first of all, the host committee and Hockey Canada pay quite a bit or, or nobody be able to go. Uh, the, but extremely uh, costly to get out there over and above. We just spent $1,800 to get the uh, gear and, uh, and boys' uh, suitcases out there, and that's going to cost us that coming back. But uh, we've had a uh, uh, lot of people step up. Our corporate sponsors have stepped up big time. Uh, we've had uh, donations made and some fundraisers. It, it's been, and every little community has done uh, something for their own, their own boy, their boys from their own little town or village. So financially, I think we're in good, we'll be okay. Well, congratulations again on the Atlantic and best of luck out west. Thanks, John. I appreciate your support.